Hi, this is Kate Scanlon and you're tuning in to the Sofa Sessions podcast. Today we're live at Poppin' Pete's Pop Shop in Croydon as part of This Is Croydon, the London Borough of Culture. Today's podcast is produced by The Capsule London. I hope you enjoy listening to this episode. If you like what you hear, please follow us and share with your friends. We have lots to say. As ever, peace and love. Okay, so this is... uh... Kate Scanlon here, hello, and this is Sofa Sessions podcast, and we are coming to you live from Popping Pete's Pop Shop um, in Croydon as part of This Is Croydon, London Borough of Culture. So thanks for tuning in, and we are here with the legendary... I don't really like that word. How do you feel about that word? I mean, I... um, I don't really... We don't check I'm I'm, I'm I'm more of a... I feel that I'm I'm more of a uh, pioneer... Hmm, to okay. it, you know. I mean, I know I understand why people say it because the the longevity and all that. But Boogaloo Sam's a legend to me. Great. So let's start that bit again. I'm here with the pioneering Popping P, loved across the world, and we are very honoured to have him here. Pete and I have been we've known each other for 20 years now. Yes. Through the wow. first breaking convention. Yes. yes. When I got your money wrong for the first <laughs> workshop, we had a little moment there. Um, back in the day when you could pay people cash, yes. I used to take around cash on tour and give yes. them cash yes. for every show, little piles per person. Um, and then in 2010, I saw a music video that featured him, Chris Brown, and it just made me think, you know what, of all the artists I've ever worked with, if someone had a shop Pete's one would be the one I'd want to go and hang out in. And this was the era, if you know Pete, where he was doing karate, Lou, and he was dressed in a karate outfit, going crazy in a pair of quite high shine, black formal shoes in his living room, doing all kind of crazy karate-inspired, popping-inspired moves, and it used to make me laugh so much. And I just had this vision, and the first year that we did it was 2013, and we did it in Box Park in um, Shoreditch, in a tiny shipping container, and we didn't have walls like this, and we had um, basically Mr. Dane that does the art, um, had hand-painted trays, you know, that you'd serve food and drinks on. He'd gone to the charity shop, got all these trays, and they were around on the walls, and Billy, Billy Business, our DJ for the pop shop, was there. And it was just, like, a lot of fun, wasn't it? And I was like, bring yes. the karate outfit. We'll do karate, Lou. <laughs> and, you know, he bought the karate outfit. Did I outfit. bring it? You bought it. And I was like, did you bring it? And you were like, yeah, but I had an accident. And you had, like, blue mouthwash or something yeah. in your suitcase. Yeah. And it had yeah. basically turned it blue. So. Oh, yeah, it was, it was a blue mouthwash. <laughs> an all. accident. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so um, we are, we're we going to have a little chat tonight. Okay. Um and then we'll be streaming this over the next coming weeks. And really to start off with, I thought it would be really cool for us both to share our thoughts, our perspectives on why the pop shop. Obviously, there was that original idea, but yeah. why have we kept doing it? Why is it important to you, Pete? I mean, for one, the, the, the concept of it was, you know, when you hit, hit me up and I remember going... And thinking to myself, like, wait, we're going to be inside of a, like a storefront. And, you know, we, you know, I'm thinking, like, that is so cool. Because no one ever, you know, did, I'm always thinking, like, I come up with the, the, one of the, I mean, some of the greatest ideas, especially out of uh, the Electric Boogaloo members. But when you came with that, you know, from that video, and, and I was like, this is incredible. Like, you I mean, like, People, you know, you know, whatever shopping, you know, uh, uh, street or mall like this, people walk in like and thinking, thinking it's a store, but it's it's a it's a studio, it's a dance place. You got so for me, it was one of the best concept ideas. Through, I'm really, uh, you know, just not like oh, I, I, people gonna be, I, I, I got an idea, I'm opening up a studio, I want to open a studio. I re- I, oh yeah, that's that's easy. But when you said pop shop, I was like that idea. So. Thank you for looking at that. Because even me being in that video, it was like, it was their idea. Even when Chris Brown, you know, the, the backstory of that whole thing, the, the, if you saw the video, it has my name on the building. And rehearsal of when I was doing the thing, Chris Brown came to me at the end of the rehearsal, which we were shooting the next day. He said, Pete, I got a surprise for you. What? I put your name on the building. 
I say on the building. Yeah, on the you know we we're gonna be shooting it on on a sound stage at Universal Studio. Oh, so he, he said your name is on the side of a building. I said, but did you spell my name right? He said, wait. I said not. I said not P O P P I N P O P P. Not P O P I N. He went. Let me. I'll be right back. So he went and checked, and they and they they actually. They did spell it with two P's, and he, you know, corrected. So, uh, but that's how the thing went. Then when Kate saw the video and she hit me, I had no clue. You know, just sitting there like I seen it. I'm dancing in front of him, coming out of the building. It was that, that thought of never came to my mind. And when she said it, I was like, "This is the incredible." But the so so for me, I, I uh, thank you for seeing that vision because I didn't see it at all. So, so for me. Um I think we're going to get on to the 80s London later. But Ooh. for me, I was born in the sort of mid-70s. Yes. And in London back then, it was, it was so cool because everywhere there was something interesting happening and there wasn't the rules that there are now. And so for me, I think a lot of my ideas hap are for things that happen in public spaces because I feel like... For me as a kid, it's funny because my sister is two years younger than me. She has no recollection of any of this. Like, like she's like, what? We saw what? I don't know. Can't wow. remember. She, she doesn't have that. But for me, as a kid, I was so inspired by, like, you'd walk down and there'd be some, you know, the, the punks or there'd be the, you know, the B-boys. or there, there was always something and everyone was, like, really true to that, whatever their subculture, whatever you want to call it, whatever that was, they were like so in it and it was like really vibrant and I felt like when I saw that video, it just really made me feel of a time that we don't have anymore where there is creativity on the street and it is in your face and everybody just does their own thing and I, that's what I think for me and then the shop thing obviously I thought would be really cool but I think... Um, it's about, for me, I think it's about the connection. Yes. And I don't think there are enough moments for the connection that we have. And you are very giving and a humble artist because you enjoy those moments. And like, you know, there was that little boy in the, the, the rain rack. He must have been three or four. He was just like looking in, doing a little shoulder bop. And you just went over and you were just grooving with him. And, you know, then we had the popping for Parkinson's group, which if you don't know, um, is, a, is a dance project for adult sufferers of Parkinson's. And Simone Sisterelli, who started it, inspired actually by his time with you in the pop shop, um, he felt that um, popping was similar to the kind of the jerks that you get from Parkinson's. And so he created this project and he brought some of the group with him yesterday. And you know, to see people that have to walk with two sticks and struggle to walk, taking a 90 minute popping class with professional dancers and kids and everybody is that connection for me that I think is so special about yeah. what we've managed to build. And yeah. it feels like there's more, like we are just scratching the surface of what this could be, I think. Definitely. And it's, it's so funny because even in America, no one, I mean, it, I, w I don't tell people, that if they see it online, but I've never went to anyone and say, hey, let's do a, a pop shop, pop and heat pop shop here because I won't do it without you. So, I, so my whole thing is never to give the concept to others. If it's not going, and this is because my respect and love for her, and, and, and she came with that, the idea, there's no way that I would do a pop shop in, in America if she's not involved. It's just so, you know, we, we definitely, we've been trying to you know, sell this concept all over the world. You know, we like, we, I'm, you know, we want to get it in China, we want to get it in, in Japan or anywhere. Uh, uh, so, but I, I couldn't do it without her. Because in the many people, you know, I, and I, again, I, can, I have, I have connections in America pretty much to say, hey, let's do it this way, but not unless she's involved. If she's not involved, I will, I just, it's between us, so. And thank you, uh, and yeah, likewise, no. yes. I wouldn't do it without you. And the funny thing is we've been talking, how do we do it without him? Like, what does it look like if we're doing it, but he's not the artist? How does the concept work? And that's the exciting bit for yeah. us now. That yeah, of course we're going to do it again with you. Yeah. But then, how can we do it, and how can the concept be something that has a life? But I think you know that's why that's what I was telling you the other day. I was speaking to her about 
it's the brand uh, branding this thing called Pop Shop. Yeah, Pop and Pete Pop Shop, but the Pop Shop is, a, is something I think that needs to be, you know, the also, I mean, it's, it is the brand, but that's, that's also a habit where we can bring other dancers here, you know, uh, Mr. Wiggles Pop Shop, Boogaloo Sam Pop Shop. It's the Pop Shop, it's the draw I'm trying to, you know, yeah, you know, because I don't want to just, you know, in my head, it's cool to say, uh, you know, this pop and peep pop shop, but in, in this whole conglomerate of this name and who I am, but I'm trying to get that name so we can bring other artists so every people here, you know, could get teachings from those. Yeah, I can come and be here, but it'll be Mr. Wiggles Pop Shop. I mean, how cool would that be? To, and it's not even only, you know, I'm talking about, it don't have to be the, le just only the electric boogaloos. It's people that I respect or people that I know can come in. Because it's about how people teach for me. It's not, not, not every dang uh, popping or dancer are great teachers. Mm -hmm. It's not only about the moves you do. It is about the spirit you have mm -hmm. in doing it. A hundred percent agree. Yes. I remember when we did it the first time. And then shortly after you were in London. Um, maybe it was at Breaking Convention. Yeah. You were at Breaking Convention. And um, I saw you and, and Pop went to me. Hey, where's my Pop Shop? And I, I was like... Actually, yours wasn't going to be called the Pop Shop because I did have other ideas. I was like, can you imagine, like, with Sugar Pop, because he's a musician, I was like, imagine, you could do it, like, in a jazz club and it could be called the Sugar Shack. See? Cheesy see. name, right? No, nah, that's dope. But you could have Billy, DJ, and you could have a funk band and then you could have Pop and he could be, like, playing the guitar. I can't play the guitar, as you can see. Um, you know and what? then he could be... Do you know what I mean? And then I was like, Wiggles, though. Wiggles would have to have a yard, right? Yeah. He would have to be in a yard because he would have to be doing graffiti, breaking. And then you, you see, see how see, the concept see. can grow, right? You can get... It's the character that yeah. inspires the setting. But you're right. Not see, everyone could do it. I've never this. told you that. Yeah, I've never told like, anyone that, actually. See, this is why I work with her. And she sees these ideas... I had no clue. I've been sitting over there. Yeah, Mr. Wiggles pop shop. No, we're gonna have Wiggles in the yard and graffiti <laughs> and uh, and sugar popping the sugar shack. And he's got a funk band. He's plays. I went, whoa, that is so dope, cool. right? That's dope. So I just keep the pop and pee pop shop to myself. Then they can go sugar no, shack. No, 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 sugar and, shacky. Uh, <laughs> the, the wiggle yard or whatever you want to call it. No, the brand is good. We're gonna work yeah, that. Yes, definitely. But you can have like. Sister brands, brother yeah, yeah, brands, no, that's, you know, yeah, anyhow. Yeah. 